Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, and this could quickly escalate into another two-minute tech tip. Here to deliver today's tech tip is Rob Lockard. Rob is the president of OracleWizard.com. He's a database expert. What's happening, Rob? Things are still a little bit chilly here in Glen Burnie, Maryland, but they're starting to warm up. What's the topic of your tech tip? Well, today we're going to be talking about using SysContext to help you secure your database environment in conjunction with redaction, fine-grade auditing, virtual private databases. If you are ready, your two minutes starts now. Say the information you want to protect is credit card numbers. You want to limit access to credit card numbers to a specific set of IP addresses. By using SysContext, you can return the IP address of a session that is connected. If a user connects to the database from outside that set of IP addresses, your virtual private database policy can append where one equals two to the where clause, thereby returning nothing. Another way we can use SysContext is find out how a user authenticated to the database. This information is so sensitive, we only want the user to be able to access credit card numbers if they authenticated, saying in this case, using SSL. So if a user connects to the database with a username password, using your virtual private database policy, again, we can append where one equals two to the where clause, so no information is returned. Now, say within that set of IP addresses, there's a group of people who can only access the last four digits of a credit card number. First, let's create a role. We're going to call it Limit CC. Assign that role to a user who only needs to see the last four digits of the credit card number. You can use SysContext with a SysSessionPrivs namespace to check for the Limit CC role. And in conjunction with the DBMS redaction, you can now redact the credit card number for this set of users. Now, say you have a user you want to also keep a very close eye on. Let's, we're going to create a role. We'll just, 30 call seconds. It I. we'll just call it I. Assign that role to the user. Now using SysContext with a SysSessionPrivs namespace again, we can check to see if the user has role I, and if it does, use it to trigger fine grade auditing to make sure she is actually doing what she is supposed to be doing. With seconds to spare, an excellent job, Ron. Thanks for a great tip. Think of another one and we'll do this again sometime. I definitely will.